Nancy Drew, I'm your game, let's go ahead and get cracking in here, let's find out what time it is. So it's 7 p.m., which means that the day has begun. And that also means that everyone's back where they belong, I assume. Well, I'm still the only guest here. Hello. Was Yumi here earlier? Yes. Really? I'm sorry I missed her. Don't be. Anyway, it's always Blink and you'll miss her with Yumi. You'd think she was allergic to this place, which is fine by me. Why is that? Look, I know she's fun at first, but it's like strangers get fun, Yumi, and all we get is touchy, angry Yumi these days. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Whoa, okay. If you didn't work here, what would you do? I'd... You know, it's been so long since I've been asked that. I don't know. Something very different. Something exciting. With Lentaro. Aww. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Suki. Suki, Suki, Suki. Well, should we talk to uh, Rentaro before we head out to the streets? Sure, let's do that. I think I'm gonna have to come back here at night and do the security card thingy. I know I need to get the collar for Ella here. Hey! What's that wooden thing in the garden? The tree? No, the wooden thing that makes the knocking noise. The door? No, the thing. <laughs> I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. Maybe. What is it? It uses flowing water to make weird knocking noises that scare away the deer so they don't eat all of the flowers. Oh, that's neat. Does it work? I don't know. Deer still eat the flowers, but it's hard to tell if they're scared or not. <laughs> all the, their expressions pretty much look the same. Kind of like this. This guy is amazing. Hi! Alright, hi, bye. I'll stop bugging you now. See you later! All right, maybe we can go see Yumi at the bento place, but maybe we should go get that collar first. And then tonight we'll be back to uh, sneak around in the computer system and do another closer look. I'm pretty sure I have to look at the rooms and see which ones aren't occupied. All right, Kiri, I think it was a uh, place for the game. I need to find out how much money we need to get for the collar. So we'll look, see here. That must be the collar that Rentaro was talking about. 2100. How much do I actually have? Uh, let's see here. Almost about 500. Okay, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to go and play. That must be the collar that Rentaro was talking yes, about. I know it is. Get me out of here. I'm going to play the game here. And uh, I'll get up to 2100, and I'll see you in a split second. Okay, we're back, and I have a bunch of winnings. I've got about 500 left in the machine, and I already have 2353, so I've got plenty. But I'm going to just go ahead and do the last nine here, and uh, so you can see of my so-called super-duper strategy here. And basically, I'm on the third machine on the right, and I do it to about the third notch here. It's pretty good. I think you send, I don't know, two or three up there, like the three, the double, triple, stars, pretty good. So, that's about it. Nothing really magical here. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. There you go, I got a thousand right just from that. There, so we're good to go. We'll cash out, go buy ourselves a color. Once I can figure out where the heck it is. This way, maybe? That must be the collar that Rentaro was talking about. It sure must be, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. Put our 3,000, so I would have a little bit extra here. Uh, we can buy this. There's the collar. I have 1,200. I'm tempted to buy another charm for my telephone. I don't know even what this is. I wish I knew. Too late. I bought a fan. <laughs> All right, we're broke now. We're gonna go ahead and save it here. So we got collar. Probably uh, 
didn't need to get that last thing, but oh well. Let's go back to the train station. Back to get some soup. No, that's not it. Oh, which one is this one? Robbie Expo. Well, we can talk to Yumi here. Let's figure out where she is. Hello. What's going on? I'm ready to help with more bento. No, I'm not. Crap. Uh, I didn't want to do more bento. How do we get out of here? No more bento for me. Miwako seems like she's having sort of a rough week. Has she said anything to you about it? Oh, yeah. She's told me plenty. Really? Like what? Blah. Same old story she breaks out every time she's in a bad mood. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Let's see. Would you like a phone charm? Give her the only one I have. Cute, thanks. Aw. I got that picture you sent. How did you do all of the designs? And there's I my did phone. it at the Purikura booth. They're everywhere around here. They're these picture booths, and you get to choose decorations, and you can write out your own messages. That's kind of cool. That sounds pretty cool. It is. Everyone uses them. Keep an eye out, and Otto send you some more. All right, I'll do that. Have Miwako and Rentaro been dating long? It's hard to backdate that sort of thing, so let's just say they've been dating somewhere between two and a thousand years. Wow. Is it just me, or do things seem a little strained between Miwako and Rentaro? Do they? Come on, make with the details. I don't really know. It's just an impression. Ah, <laughs> jeez. Uh, boring. Nancy, if we're going to be gossip buddies, you're going to have to work on your photo through. <laughs> Miwako seems a little annoyed with Rentaro. Well, that's not surprising. Rentaro is super annoying. Super, super annoying. It's part of this reverse psychology bizarre charm he's got. When he's in one of his hyper Rentaro moods, it's like hanging out with a puppy. Except Rentaro is housebroken, and he doesn't go all crazy when there's a cat outside. Well, most times he doesn't. Alrighty then. Do you see Rentaro much? Oh yeah, he loves the city. He's here every chance he can get. Do you know why he's so eager to move to the city? Oh, he's been that way forever. When we were kids, he and I used to jump on the train the second my mom turned her back. We weren't supposed to go into the city unsupervised, so Miss I'd Rather Break a Bone Than a Ruro Miwako never came. Although, <laughs> maybe she was right about that. We got in so much trouble every time. Mm-hmm. Do you know what Rentaro wants to do once he moves to Kyoto? Tech something? I sort of don't listen to him when he's being boring about things. Okay. That last picture of you is great. Yeah, I love that one. I saw the article about what happened to your mother. I'm busy. Maybe you should go. It said that you were the first one to find her. That must have been very hard. I said I'm busy. <sighs> that means leave me alone. Uh-oh. Now. Aww. I screwed up. Can you come back in a bit? I'm busy right now. I'm what? busy right now. She's angry at me. All right, well, let's go deal with the caller, if I can maybe get here somehow. There we go. Train station. I always want to go down the escalator to the train station for some reason. All right, let's go and uh, give the caller to Rintaro and see what that does for us. Let's see, let's see. What do we got here? Let's go right all the way through, all the way to the back. All the way to the back. No, not here. Let's try this one. Hey. Yumi said that you want to move to the city. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, given the choice, everyone wants to live in the city. The country is fine, the mountains are great, but you look at one and you pretty much got it figured out. It's big, it's rocky, it's a mountain, case closed. But the city is interesting and quirky and confounding and amazing okay. what do you want to do in kyoto since i was a kid i wanted to work in the tech sector but now everything's moving so fast and in 10 years i can't even imagine and you've got to be there to be a part of it why doesn't miwaka want to move into the city your guess is as good as mine i've been trying to figure that one out for a long time Considering everything that's happened here, why would anyone want to stay? What, what do you, you mean? mean? I got that collar for Suki. 
There you go. Oh, Nancy son, you are the best guest we've ever had. I'm going to go give this to her now. Please, excuse me. Really? I think he's setting up everything just to make it all spooky. Alright, is there anything I can do in here while he's gone? Hmm, what's this? What did I get? What is this thing? Some sort of star or something or other? Okay, I don't know how that helps us. I don't really need this phone on here. What else can I sneak around in while he's not here? <laughs> Nothing, I'm afraid. Still making the... the matching dog. He hasn't made really much progress, has he? Not really. Okay, let's go talk over here. To our lovely friend here. Turn around. Whoops, not this far. Hi. Oh, is she wearing a new collar? Is Suki wearing a new collar? Yes. Doesn't it look perfect? Lintolo must have really put some thought into this. It fits perfectly and it goes so well with her eyes. He can be so thoughtful sometimes. I think it's time for me to do something nice for him. Whoa. Let's not go there. I'll, I'll let, let you get back, back to, work. to work. See you later. Actually, that is a nice thing to do. Alright, well, let's go talk to uh, our lady friend here in the... Nope. It's men only right now. Alright, this is not where I want to be. Nope. This way. Over here to the cultural center. And we'll make some phone calls to... Hi there. Hello, Nancy-san. Do you believe that people have a sense of what's to come? You probably think I'm silly, but I do. Did Kasumi believe this? Why do you ask? Was she worried about things before the accident? I'm sorry. I must prepare. I have more lessons. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? Hello, Nancy-san. Were you ever married? Of course. Your husband, he... He would have been very impressed with you. He loved questions, too. My friends would say, tell him enough with the interrogations. But if he liked someone, he wanted to know everything. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye, Nancy-san. Uh, Hello, Nancy-san. I'll Hello. let you get back to work. Goodbye. Okay, let's make a couple phone calls here. Let's call our friends. First... Can't talk on my phone now. Nope, sorry. Forgot about that. Old habits. Come on, go. Oh. That's twice I've had my phone ring in the last ten minutes. Wow. Anyways, let's see here. Let's make our own phone call for real. Well, for game real. Ringing. Hi. There's something I think there's strange. something pretty strange about Rentaro. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. strange. The way Yumi tells it, he's about as weird as they come. Do you think he could be behind what's going on? I think on? he might be. Hard to say for sure. Well, he may be strange, but sometimes strange just means strange. Okay. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. That doesn't help at all. Savannah. Talk to me, Savannah. Savannah. Yo. Can you think of anything else about the room you stayed in when you were here? Not really. I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, oh wait a minute now. Come to think of it. It had a, a, a carved wooden bird that triggered the passage. I hope that helps. Not really. I should go. Bye now. Bye. Alright, well, <laughs> look at Yumi's photos. Okay. And yes, I, I remember that one of you was saying that the cat meows or me getting messages. Now, I'm not sure if this was Nancy's room, but we're going to go to Nancy's room because we need to figure something else out. We need to get into the that uh, key card thingy. So we're going to go ahead and 
sleep until it's 1 a.m. Oh, actually, I might have homework to mark. Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, looks like it. All right, let's grade some homework. I is... Oops, already stamped that one. I did all these already. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wait a minute. Family on the farm. The pig goes quack. My cat likes to hunt in the hay. Sure, why not? The sheep eats hay. Sure, why not? The lamb is a baby horse. Okay, maybe not that one. Next page. The duck goes quack. Sure. My cat likes to hunt in the bar. Sure. The hay eats horse. No, sorry. The sheep is a baby lamb. It's the other way around, actually. Uh, the duck goes quack, yes. My cat likes to hunt in the bar. The horse eats hay. Lamb is a baby sheep. That sounds about right. The cat goes quack. My lamb likes to hunt in the hay. I'm not sure if the lamb does that. Duck eats barn. New. Nope. The sheep is a baby horse. No, 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 no. It's not as crazy now. The duck goes quack. My cat likes to hunt in the bar. And the horse eats hay. The sheep is a baby lamb. Isn't the lamb a baby sheep? Yes. Alright, cool. Done. Now we can go to sleep. Cool. Not sure we need anything here. Yeah, nope. Sleep time. Set the alarm for 1 a.m. Like this. Set alarm, go to sleep. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no, it's my alarm. Jeez. Okay, let's go downstairs quickly before anyone wakes up. Go, 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 go. Uh, this way. Oops, no, this way. Hi there. Silky, who's a good girl? Who is a good girl? That's adorable. Suki, mate. Okay. Goes to sleep. Oh no, do I have to do this again? Oh no, I don't want to do this again. I don't even remember what I was supposed to be doing. Um. Oh wow. I really don't want to do this. Mm. Okay, we're going to get out of here. I might do that off camera. Alright, so let's look at this room here. We want to figure out the ones that we can't get into. Uh Hmm. Okay, we want to do this thing over here. Key card thingy. Blue. I'm supposed to do this. Sure, we'll put blue there. Red there. Green. Mm -hmm. Did we do it? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh... Oh, I see. Okay. This is interesting. Whoa, what do we have here? To open all rooms ending in 8 or 9. Alright, well, maybe we should go open up 8 or 9. Uh, should we do that? I think we will. Alright, let's go upstairs. 
Eight or nine. Nope. Is this the wrong way? I don't know if there's any eight or nines in here. Eight. Locked. Open it up. Yeah, let's go. Door rattles. Don't really see much in here. Nothing. Okay, well, we can go across the hall. I think. Locked. Nine, yep. Anything? No, I don't see anything. Alright. Let's go downstairs and go to the other way. Lift the door, please. All the way to the end. Okay, what's this all about? Still nothing here. Hmm. Uh, what's this here? I should find something that matches that symbol. I have it right here. Whoa, what is this? I don't know. Then we're going to pause here and we'll see you in the next video. We can figure out what is in the secret room. Thanks for watching. Nancy Drew. Bye-bye.